All right, so on our last dive, we caught um, some amber jacks and jacks, snappers, and a Bermuda chub. The only reason I shot the Bermuda chub is because everybody said, well, not everybody. I've heard one person say that it tastes good. Everybody else calls it shitfish. That's what I know it as. And we're gonna find out if it really is shitfish or if it's worth eating, if it's worth catching. See you on the board. <laughs> Filet, we gonna fill in the shit fish. Nah, let's have to get you the skill. Make sure we ain't no shit on us. I'm not going into the guts, I'm only taking the fillet. See eyeball. Even the eyeball look like shit, look. It's a little grayish. Mm -hmm. You look like a black belly barra. Mm -hmm. That's the bloodline in the middle? You got Kima. Cut around the breakage. Watch him. Don't even look like the book. That. That's the name. Back is black ish. And that would be the blood. You want to remove the thick bloodline from the fish, that's where the heavy fishy flavor comes from. This is the. Give it a different flavor. You want to know why the fish is so fishy? That's it. This is exactly where they come from. That's all it is. Give me that. You need lemon. You need lemon. Boy, chicken not the dark meat, everybody to fight for. You want the white meat, dark, dark meat? <laughs> you want the dark meat on the face, show it to me. You want everything clear. Let's see, pink salmon. Then you want the pinkish part of the fire. Huh? Shit fish, my son. She getting cooked tonight. And true to its nickname, here comes the poop. Shitfish. It's why it's called shitfish. Literally, why it's called shit. You can't even kill him <laughs> without him shitting. Yeah, what I tell you, him, boy, he done there, been in freezer for three days, cutting his nose, he's still shitting. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and he's on bread, shitfish, right? So here's the lineup for tonight's taste test. Everything has been cleaned and vacuum sealed. We have the star, which is Bermuda chub. And I'm also going to cook Amber Jack and Yellow Jack to compare it to. All the other fish have been lightly seasoned prior to being vacuum sealed. So I'm going to season the Bermuda chub and try to get it up to speed. Once that's done, I'm going to cook all of the fish the same way they will be blackened. I'm going to go with rice as a side today, but we are going to spice things up a little bit with some seasoned rice following a recipe from my modern Caribbean kitchen by Virgin Islands chef, Julius Jackson. A link to the book and all ingredients for this delicious side dish can be found in the description below.
If you have never tried infusing your seafood with a sprig of rosemary, please give it a try. Thank me later. Okay, I've got the fish lined up in the same order on everybody's plate. First up is Bermuda Chub, then Amber Jack, and last but not least, Yellow Jack. All right, we said we were going to give the Bermuda Chub a chance. Bermuda Chub, AKA Shitfish. Now the one with the toothpick is number one. So number one, two, and three. One, two, three. All right. So I want you guys to try number one first, and let me know how it tastes. Good seasoning, cooked to perfection. Why are you not recording? Good seasoning. I know, right? I said another bite. And I'll tell you what everything is once you're done trying each one. And then we're gonna rank them, right? Yeah. Feel where you in it. And I'll go ahead and try mine as well. It tastes very good. It tastes very good. A little bit of spice. Not bad. Actually, not bad at all. Yeah, try and taste the fish itself, okay? Well, don't worry about this uh, seasoning, but like the fish chewy. itself. It ain't like a flaky fish at all. It's firm. Yeah, they have like a bite to it. Kind of like kingfish in texture. Mm-hmm. That's what I was saying, like a... Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try number two. That's the one in the middle. It's chicken for sure. <laughs> to the rest, I'm not eating chicken, eh? Smooth texture. Not as bad as the first one. I mean, yeah, it's I wonder not better than the first one. It's not better than the first one? That's a jack for sure. This is not better than the first one. So the first one is better than the second one? Yeah. It's like soft chicken. Me no ball, I like it. Yes. The first one season better. Exactly. But this a better quality of fish. Not. The middle one for sure. We all have our own opinions. Alright, number three. Number three. This one looks like this. Mm, really. Tastes weird. This one, let's see. 
Tastes weird too. Yeah. Tastes weird in what kind of way? I could see them. Nothing to do with the seasoning. This is the fish. This the fish itself is mm -hmm. weird texture. It's like, but the way know. you presented it, that's my world right now. That's what I'm saying. One, two, three. It's like safi mushi. Okay. Are you guys ready to know which each one is? Yes, ma'am. This is your fish. <laughs> What's your guess, Jahan? Amberjack. The first one is Amberjack? Shoot, no, no. What did we catch? What, I, you, I what you think off of eating it? Not what you. I was not cheating. I have to know what the fish is. What Just off of eating it, what you think? Amberjack. Pompano. What's your fish? Shit fish were in the middle? Maybe, I don't know. The best one? No, what do you think? Shit fish is this last one, because this is the first time I ever had fish like this. Okay, oh. and what else? This definitely yellow jack. That's the original amber. Neither one are you right. So which one is this shit fish, the first one? Number one is Bermuda chop. This is the shit fish? Yep. That is good. What is this? That's yellow jack. A good and a yellow. <laughs> and that's amberjack. I am bad. So, I go with yeah. amber. So, so you two. have Bermuda Trub is number one. Yeah, amberjack is number two. And yellow jack was number three. All of them were blackened. They still going in my stomach, so I really don't care. So you're ranking one, two, three mm -hmm. in that order, and you? One, two? No. All right. The Bermuda chop isn't bad at all. It's, it's a, definitely not bad. If that, if that was the first one. It's like kingfish. It's mm -hmm. not a, It's not fishy like kingfish, but the texture is like kingfish. I don't know if the whole seasoning better too, but bye. Yeah. It's actually not bad. It's a dry fish though. Not oh, super duper beans. moist, but pretty good. Maybe it's just this piece of the yellow jack. I don't know. I think you're used to having yellow jack fried. Mm hmm. Fried. It's the one. You gotta see the best one. This is the yellow jack. Good. You're telling me that this don't taste good? Yeah, that's a better bite. This one falling apart in my mouth. He, he stole my bite. That wasn't meant for you. Come on, this tastes like the one you got. You just put something in there. All right. Is the Bermuda chub is not as bad as the as the reputation has been given? Yeah. Chico bang. <laughs> oh, my name, Chico bang. So I guess Bermuda chub will be on our list for spare fishing more regularly. Mm, I don't care what you say, but sheep's head is on the list. Sheep's head? Well, that's well, sheep's head not in the list here. Yeah, Amber, chub, yellow. No, sheep fish, amber. Out of the tree. Uh, out of the tree that's actually on your plate. Amber, chub, mm -hmm. and then we're going with yellow. From the tree. Just more on it. Uh, Jahan don't seem to have a preference eating all of them. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. You like this one better than the rest of them? Yeah. Yeah, sheep fish went in this one. <laughs> You heard it here first, folks. Don't give the Bermuda chop a bad rep. Just gotta cook it right. Mm. It's, all, it's all about the cooker. Doesn't care. I don't care if it's a good, uh, good fish. You have a bad cooker behind the wheel. You know? In the it car, you drive away, you know? Mm. Yeah, it's not by the car. Or my Dom Toretto taste. Taste that. The only food is mm -hmm. cooking it. Have you ever tried right. Bermuda chop? If not, oh, are you willing to give it a try? Let us know in the comments below. Click on the playlist on screen for more catch and cook videos. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and continue to follow us as we taste all the ocean has to offer. What are you waiting for? Stay salty, my friends.